Hey everybody, welcome to Merit Partners Lounge. Super excited to be here today with my friend Evan. I've known Evan over 10 years and yeah. here we are. We wanted to share our space, this new space that we've got. Evan, what's it like to come and work here every day? It is incredible. It was a tough year and a half, as we know, um, kind of doing remote and here, but the thing I love most about this place, I mean, it, we've only been open in this environment for a couple months, but we've had so many people come by, hang out, grab a coffee, grab a drink. It's been, it's been what we envisioned, a place for our clients to come, hang out with us, friends, family, and like we're about to talk about, filled with some cool things. It's filled and it changes all the time. This yeah. lounge changes all the time, which is what we enjoy sharing with the community. I think we built this place for the car community to be a small part of the car community yeah. and host people here in one-on-ones and, and, and advise and share in the passions that we have. So yeah. let's walk through. We wanted just to share currently what's in the lounge at the yeah. moment. I mean, starting off, Evan, I know you're super passionate about <laughs> yeah. the new Ford GT. So tell us a little bit about this car. So this car is cool. Uh, it is a carbon series edition car, which means it has the carbon stripes down the center and also some other lightweight components of it. But the main thing I love about this car in particular is just the build. I mean, the black is so menacing on the Ford GT. You have all the carbon accents, mirrors, everything. Um, and personally, the Ford GT is my favorite modern supercar. It was built to win Le Mans. You can see that and you can feel it when you drive the car. It's just, it's unlike anything out there today. It's, it's amazing. And this is a, a great example of a car you can get into uh, that I think is gonna do well long-term. Black is really my color. I love it in this color. And just all the scoops and yeah. designs of this car and the arrow is just incredible. So. Yeah, absolutely. And next to it, we have one of the most radical cars of the 90s, which this is a dear friend of yours, uh, F50. So tell us a little bit about this car. F50, the Frankfurt Auto Show car. Uh, this was a car that we found and sourced for a good buddy locally here and just happy to host the car in this space. And it was also down at Cavallino. We shared the car down mm -hmm. there. And it's just fun to go out on a Sunday morning with friends and, and drive it together, which we've done on multiple occasions. And uh, it was a dream for him. So it's just, it's great to be a part of that. So. And this particular car is straight piped and sounds epic. Incredible. Yeah, <laughs> we roll it out of here when it goes out. Yeah. It gets, it gets rolled out. And speaking of friends, uh, this is also a great friend of ours, VP4. So we've highlighted this car several times. Yeah. Uh, it's a prototype car, VP4. And this car is an all carbon body car with painted Volcano Yellow, we absolutely love this car. I've had it out at hypercar events on the track and enjoyed it. You've also enjoyed it out with friends in Carmel. Yes. So we love the P1s. I mean, 375 of them, super rare of, of the 918 in the LaFerrari. And I think the, the design of this car is iconic. I'm absolutely in love with it. And I think it's a great long-term hold for, for somebody. Absolutely. This, uh, the P1 is one of my favorites of the Trinity. It is my favorite of the Trinity because of the looks. It's just, nothing else looks like this. We'll talk about the 918 in just a minute, but this thing is so radical. Let's go so over to my crazy. favorite area in the space over here, the Carrera GTs. All of our friends, in my opinion, should have a Carrera GT in their collection, whether to drive it or enjoy it. We have a deep connection with these cars. Uh, this car is a storage car. It's GT Silver over Ascot, which uh, was the launch color. They made quite a few in this color. Uh, we actually just sold a black Carrera GT, 2,800 miles, and we took another car in on trade. So we're constantly rotating and just great to be a part of the Carrera GT community, whether it's going out on rallies, just my favorite car to start off and go, go for a drive, whether it's at the, the North Georgia mountains or wherever. You've really built a brand around the Carrera GT. Obviously, like you were talking about, put a lot of friends in it, and it's been cool for me to see just all the different cars we've moved and the relationships you now have with those people to be able to do experiences and drives all together. It's been, it's been cool to watch. Well, personally. I remember when I bought my first Carrera GT and the first thing I wanted to do was out in the rain, take it up to the North Georgia mountains with Lauren and, and go for a drive. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, and then we went to Charleston, drove the car all the way to Charleston where we got married. And so it's just, it's fun to be a part of the community. And we're also paired up with Jimmy Rapassi yeah. of Rapassi Motor Works, and he really helps us validate and verify cars, inspecting them wise, and also servicing them. We have a car, a 2,800 mile 
Carrera GT out there right now getting new Olin suspension, major engine service, just to make sure the car is correct when yeah. it shows up and when we represent it. We just want to make sure that obviously you want to be safe in these cars. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Walter Rohr said, uh, just make me a Carrera GT, but better. And then what was Porsche's response? A hybrid, which now <laughs> looking back after the car is almost golly when it was announced. I mean, it's been 10 years from yeah. the time the car was announced. Yeah. And here entered the 918. What do you think about the 918, Evan? I love the 918. I'll never forget. We took one of these to Amelia Island um, and me and Jonathan were staying together showing off the car. Uh, and what's so cool about this is we were staying in this little community. So early in the morning, we had to get out to attend our events. And so you put in EV mode to start it up and leave where we were. And then you hop out on the main roads and that V8 fires up and it just totally changes in an instant. Uh, and that's what I love about this car. It's, it's so usable, but at the same time, it's a, it's a 900 horsepower monster. It's incredible. It's like an invisibility cloak when you, when you pull out. And it's exciting <laughs> to see what Porsche is going to release for their next hypercar. And yeah. I think the, this car is just, it is trending up and to the right. It's been a very conservative move values wise, and it makes sense. There are 300 for the US. This is a non WISOC car, about 140 non WISOC, about 160 WISOC cars, WISOC package, you know, 75 less pounds between the, the, the wheels. Yeah. Uh, the, the mirrors and, and all, all the other carbon bits that came with the White Sox package. But behind it too, I mean, just let's walk over there yeah. because this is a car, 918 White Sox we've sold. So this car is for sale, but the Guards Red 918 White Sox package, they made five in the US delivered in Guards Red. And typically red is not your preferred color for a Porsche. That's exactly right. But everybody <laughs> has said on the 918, it just works. Yes. After we sold this car, we had repeated uh, inquiries about it. This was a car that we bought originally three years ago from the first owner. We then sold it to the second owner. The car then came back and then we sold it now to the third owner, which we just finished up a full service, a four year service on the car. We also uh, did all new PPF on the car and ceramic coating. So I just love it in red. I mean, with the silver what's, wheels. Yeah, what's good about the red on the Y sock is you get the carbon that breaks everything up. If you had a car this wide and this with this stance and all red, it probably would be a little bit much, but with the carbon roof and the carbon A pillars and the carbon mirrors, it just, it helps break everything up to, I agree, it's stunning. Acid it green was stunning. also their launch yeah. color, so they had a lot of the hybridization in the acid green. This car has the piping in red, red. to match, which I, which I really like on it, and it has deletion of the, the acid green. In, in, which I think it needs. The yeah. green would kind of clash a little with the red, so. It's, it, this is the perfect spec. Didn't well, last going, long. It's going to a great home. So it's shipping out this week, which is cool to see it in here right now. Yep. Talk to us about TDF. I know it's over there in Rosso F1. Few cars have left me with a bigger impression than a TDF. The first time I drove one of these cars, it was, I'll never forget that experience. Uh, it's, it's rare that you drive a modern supercar that creates fear within you. And that's what the TDF does. Uh, it demands your respect. It is a loud, wild, incredible experience. Uh, so every TDF we've had in since that first drive, I have, I have loved. But this spec to me, the Rosso Formula One, with the black stripe with the black and red interior is just the perfect spec. The louvers are, are my favorite part of, yeah. of the TDF. Yeah. And uh, I think it's, you know, it's iconic. It's V12, modern car. This is truly a dream come true to see the lounge full. I never would have even imagined seeing the cars that we love around the modern, these are future modern classics. And it's yeah. truly the best of the best in terms of the selection between Porsche and Ferrari, some McLarens and, and obviously the Ford supercar. So. Yeah, what's funny is we used to have a couch in there in, in the middle of the area and slowly we started pulling one car in, two cars in. Now we have seven cars in here because let's, let's be honest, this is better than any furniture this we is, can put in here. I mean, so. it's, it's gorgeous. Well, let's go yeah. take a look. Let's go show our detail area over here yep. and come walk with us. So come take a look. Here's our detail studio. This is where we do paint corrections and ceramic coating. And in here right now is a gated Murcia Lago. Mm. And again, I love it in black. I mean, what a, a great way to really bring out the color in terms of, of doing some paint corrections. It's a local 
a friend of ours and, and entrusted us with the car. It just looks great. And it's so cool because traditionally we don't do a lot of Lamborghini. Um, but I have a lot of respect for the brand and particularly this generation. So it's really cool to have an opportunity to be around this car and see this car. And I got to tell you, our guys did a phenomenal did job. See. Black, when it's clean. I love it. <clears throat> so good. Great job, so guys. Good. And the lights really show the car off as well. And we also do some photography in here. And so it's great to showcase the cars in this environment. And uh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Well, let's go take a look out in the main warehouse where we have all of our cars. Let's head out to the garage. Come on. So here's where it gets really fun. This is where all of our inventory, most of our inventory stays. And one thing you'll notice out here, every car that's sitting here, we have a passion for. We're excited about. When you hear us talk about a car, it would take us, I don't know, two hours to go through this If we went through every place. car in here, it would, it, would, it would take a while. There's a lot more. If you have any specific questions, feel free to reach out to us because yeah. jumping on the phone and advising people, even if it's just a question, unrelated to a buy or sell, that's what I know I love to do. And yeah. I, know, I know you enjoy that too. The whole team does. So exactly. we can't walk through every car in here, yeah. but we can show what's currently in here. And you're exactly right. It represents a passion. Yep. So what's cool is we have everything from a bespoke 993 custom turbo project that one of our friends and clients did. Moving to two separate 4.0s. Uh, we've done a lot of 4.0s. Best modern dri driver is 911, you know, other than Carrera GT, which is unlike a 911. The 4.0 we believe to be the king in the future, of obviously being a 997 and Metzger. We love these My cars. They're just, they're just so special. And what's great about them too is they're coming of age. They're actually in the classic department of Porsche now when yeah. you go and ask the Porsche Classic guys and so what we do is we're starting to really bring these cars back and refurbish them because like the 964RS a lot of them were used to track yeah. and had aftermarket suspension or things on them so we're really bringing the cars back refurbishing them so doing work on them prior to bringing them to market and that's another thing that we do here is really make sure the cars are set up before they go out of here. Absolutely. We've got of course a Carrera GT here that you've also placed. Um, we have a lot of modern cars you'll see here. This is a Heritage Targa, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful model. Uh, and How about then, the roof behind oh, it? I mean, come on, man. we've really been enjoying the story of roof and what we've seen as well as a lot of our clients and collectors have really gravitated to what roof is doing as yeah. close as they are in Germany yeah. to Porsche, getting parts from them and sharing them. This is actually a Ferrari Fly Yellow roof that we, that we recently sold falling in love with the roof models and looking forward to a lot more coming through here. It's been so cool. The yellow bird obviously is a, is a classic, but all the modern roofs, I mean, the driving experience, it's hard to explain. Um, I always call it like a turbo RS kind of to love think it. about it, but awesome. uh, they are so special and I'm so happy that we are now focusing a little bit more on them and bringing them into the fold here at Merritt. So well, it's fun to go back, really cool. right? It's fun when we look yeah. forward, what, what's, what's exciting in the future? Well, we're actually moving yeah. back to yeah. the stuff from the 90s and the 2000s. Exactly. I mean, not to mention our whole back row of GT3s back there. You can see we have uh, GT3 Tourings in, in Paint Blau, a sample. Paint a sample. Yep. Yeah, we have 997RSs. Speedster. Uh, the 964RS, obviously. I mean, that, that's 964RS to me is a top five car. Love top it. five 911. I love it. I think it's it so underrated, so, so undervalued. Underrated. And, um, it's just, it's just awesome. The, ma yep. the magnesium wheels, the lightweight, you know where the car is. I love the size of the car. So yes. you know where it's at at all times on the yes. road. So that's really exciting. Yep. Well, tell us about what we have over here. So then moving into our Ferrari section here, we call this Ferrari Row. Uh, we have our Scuderias, our lightweight Ferraris, which is what I'm really passionate about. I was talking earlier about the TDF, whether it's a TDF or a Scuderia or a Speciale, Pista, um, they all just have something a little different than their standard counterparts and the experience of them is, is unlike anything else. So it's cool to see the different colors here too, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, and, and the stripe, I mean, that's a 500 mile example, uh, pristine. Yeah. We've got Nero in black. I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. All right. Coming down the line here yep. and just wrapping up again, impossible to show everything that's going on here at all yeah. times and walk through, but just wanted to give a little bit of taste. Uh, today and we're going to continue to share some of these videos in the space. Let us know what you like, 
what you want to see. I know yeah. I enjoy doing this with you. Yeah. It's fun doing yeah, this yeah. with inside of relationships uh -huh. and all of that. So as we wrap up, we will come over here to the 911 the R's, which are uh, our fearless leader, Bert Strange, one of his favorites, if not his favorite. And these are two phenomenal examples. Uh, a very low mile white green striped car uh, and one of our dear clients, white with red striped car. So incredible experience. I got to spend time in one of these out in Carmel, out in Monterey, and there really is nothing like them for a modern Porsche. I mean, talk about a car that harkens back to a, a really... Um, it's lightweight. Right. It's 1967 911R. Yeah, back to homage. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, it's homage to, to the lightweight cars with the magnesium roof, the carbon fenders. I mean, it's just, it's epic in every way. Every way. These cars certainly have a place in a Porsche, Porsche collector's hands. Oh, so yeah. it's been Absolutely. a lot of fun doing this with you. Me too. How about I need a coffee. coffee. Let's go get I need a coffee. coffee. Come on. Let's go make a coffee. This, what in my opinion, things? the cars, the cars are, the cars are wonderful. The cars are amazing. <laughs> but for me, this is what the new space is all about. We're waiting for our island, which we're super excited to, to, to receive, but we love this machine over here. One Light of our clients gifted, uh, gifted us this, and let me just tell you, it gets its use. We pump about, I don't know, 20 a day out of this thing. So we're gonna make one and uh, continue our day here at Merritt. Thank you guys for following along. I hope you enjoyed it. A small glimpse of what we're doing here every day. A lot more fun, exciting stuff to come, so stay tuned. Thanks, Thank guys. You.